Hey guys, well, for those of us in the northern climates, it appears winter is here to stay, whether we like it or not. Now, once the water temperature starts going below 50 degrees, there's one lure I always like to throw, and that is a jerk bait. So from now till next spring when the water temperature gets back up in the mid 50s, this is something I'm going to be throwing anytime I'm out. So I thought today we're going to paint a holographic jerk bait. All right, here is our holographic jerk bait. Now it's got the holographic panels on the inside, on both sides of it. You can see your BBs inside there. I don't know if that'll show up for you well or not. The, of course, the holographics, as it moves in the light, will change different colors, and it should do that outside in the sun. Now, I do not have any transparent white. You should be able to put a real light coat of transparent white over the top of that, and the holographic images will still go through. But we're not going to do that. We're going to put some paint on the bottom. We're going to put some paint on the top. And we're going to leave the sides alone. Now, I've got two of these ready. I'm going to use two different colors on top, so I'm doing two at the same time, because this is going to be very, very simple and very, very fast. So let's get started with the first paint. All right, for our first paint that we're going to put on the belly, and only on the belly, I'm going to use the Createx Pearlized White on the belly. And we're just going to run right up here. It'll probably bleed a little onto the sides, taper up, but we shouldn't be much of it. And there is no undercoat. As you can see, I'm not putting an opaque undercoat. We're just going to put the Pearlized on. We're getting it covered over. I'm going to let this dry with the uh, heat gun, and then I'm going to come back and put just a little bit more on there, but I don't want to put it on too thick. All right, there we have our pearlized white on the belly. Here's the other one. And I'm hopefully you can, see, you can still see the BBs rolling around in this one. But in the pearlized, you can just barely see them. I can, they may not show up for you. But we just have enough pearlized white on the belly for that one. Now let's get this one done. There's number two. Get the heat gun to put a dry on that. And we'll move on. For lure number one, to come down the back, we're going to go with Createx Pearlized Black. So we use the pearlized black on the back. We're just going to go right down here. We don't want to get over on the holographics again. So we'll just come right down the back, shoot it straight down. We're going with a light coat. If we want more, we'll come back and do another one. In fact, I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to, I'm going to heat set that and then take a look if I want to put more on or not. I am happy with the back, but I want to put a little around the eye sockets here. And now is when you back off how much paint you give out. Push down for the air, back to put out more paint. I'm not going to put out nearly as much paint, so I'll be ease back a little on the trigger on the backward motion this time. Go a little bit there. I think that's enough. 
just enough for on the back side of the eye socket there, just a little bit, help make that eye stand out a little better. Gonna dry that, let's see where we go. All right, that's all we're gonna do to this one. We have the pearlized white on the belly. We did a pearlized black across the top, a little around the eyes. As you can see, our holographic uh, will still show through on the side. Look at that, real simple. That's all we're gonna do to that. Eyes and that top coat, that clear top coat will still allow all that to shine through real well. Now, let's fit the back on lure number two. Lure number two, we've got the pearl eyes done here. This time we're going to go with Createx Pearlized Blue for the back. So we'll have one in black and one in blue. Load it up. Again, right down the middle of the back. Don't get carried away. There we go. Don't mind my heat that just came on. It is in the 20s outside, so... All right, let me dry this just a second. There we go. Nice down the back. It didn't take a lot. Pearl in the front. I'm going to come back just like I did on the last one by the eyes. And we're going to go a little bit there. Barely pulling back on the trigger just to get a little bit of paint out. Almost all air. You can hear the air, but not a lot of paint. All right, there we are. Around the eye socket, got that done. And there we go, those are very, very simple. We got a pearl blue, and pearl white holographic jerk bait, a pearl black, a pearl white holographic jerk bait. We need to put some eyes, the top coat, and then we get into the hooks, we got her done. Well, there you go, guys. A pearl blue and a pearl black holographic jerkbait. As you can see, those are real easy to paint, yet you end up with a really flashy lure when it's all said and done. Now the one I did is floating, but I did a video about three or four days ago. I'll put a link in the description. You can go back and see how to take a floating jerkbait and turn that into a suspending or slightly sinking jerkbait. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. Subscribe to our channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.